Hey guys, this is Angela Brooks from AngelaBrook.com and you are listening to Blogging for Profits podcast. This last week, I challenged my own self uh, because of a friend, Natasha Hazlett. She's talking about helping people find their own voice. And you know, when you come into business, a lot of times people think that they are here just so that they can sell a product. Um, I knew and always have that I am more than the essential oil product that I use or that I sell or the blog that I do or any of the other products that I have come along and, and developed. So in order to really find out what it is that you like, what it is that your audience likes to hear from you, she challenged me to do a hundred videos in a hundred days. That's a lot of videos. However, on the upswing of that, um, it's already been a week. I've done seven already. It doesn't even feel like I've done seven. The response rate has been fabulous. Um, the very first video I did within eight hours had already had 400 views. And I was just pretty much amazed, I guess, that just like everybody, you're always amazed that people want to hear your story, that they want to hear your message and how you do you. Because everybody comes into business thinking that they've got to change their face, change their voice, change the way they dress. And, you know, I'm guilty. When I first came into business, I would go to events and I would go out and spend, you know, three to five hundred dollars on a brand new outfit so that I could have a new outfit every day that I was at these events and I'd wear that outfit maybe you know at two maybe three events and then I'd go buy more clothes and then there they hung and that was not me so what I have learned finding my voice finding my place in business is it's just a whole lot easier to be me because I kind of like me and I like um, not having to worry about which event I was at, at which face you need to put on. So, you know, actually doing videos is pretty fun. And I'm going to be very honest. I wrote a blog post yesterday and the title of that is a hundred videos in a hundred days is I hated videos. And it wasn't that I was afraid to push the red button. I hated the way I sounded. I didn't like the way I looked no matter whether I got dressed up or dressed down for videos, I didn't like the way I looked on camera. And I don't mean just, I didn't like them a little bit. It was like, I didn't like to watch other people's either. And you know, the fastest way to get in front of people is through Facebook Live. Uh, my business coach, Ray Higdon said that for three years, and I did do um, videos when I was under his coaching. I mean, I wasn't going to dishonor what he was telling me. I absolutely did them. But, you know, Ray has done a video every single day, way more than that now. Uh, he does several a day. But he's done a video a day for over 10 years. And look where he's at. Because people are able to hear him, see him, watch his crazy, funny movements. And I was just like, eh, I'm not that kind of outgoing jokester person. I don't have that personality, but guess what? You don't have to have that personality. You know, I rarely, rarely go back and listen to any of the, the videos that I do just because I don't, I don't like to, so I don't. And I have learned this year that um, stop doing what you don't enjoy doing. If you hate blogging, you hate writing, then do a podcast like I'm doing what you're listening to right now. Um, if you don't like uh, doing videos, at least do a podcast so that people can hear your voice and get to know you that way. Um, but I highly encourage you to get on this 100 day, 100 video challenge with me and just see what it does. They don't have to be long. Most of mine are five minutes or less. Um, when I, I'm going to bring on some special guests and I'm sure those will be, you know, about 30 minutes because I'm not going over 30 minutes because I, my attention span is short, just like yours. And I don't want to do long, lengthy, blah, blah, blah kind of videos. I, um, I want to do short and sweet. 
and stay in front of people because they're busy. And I think people appreciate that. So, um, you know, I know a lot of people get nervous on camera. You know, we all do until we get the hell out of our own way because we're the only ones that are holding ourselves back. And when that really sinks in, that it's you that's holding you back. There's nobody out there that's telling me I can't do anything. Actually, I have phenomenal friends and they all tell me, yes, you can. You're good. You're great. You're awesome. And that's the kind of people that you need in your corner. And if you don't have those, I highly suggest you find uh, somebody who's in your corner pushing you out of the dark. Because, um, you know, I've been friends with Natasha, oh gosh, at least eight years, seven, eight years. And I've watched her grow. And if she had, um, of course, her husband's really, really good at doing Facebook ads, and they've done a lot of really cool stuff. Um, Rich is really good at, you know, building web pages. So she didn't have to hire that out. That was something they did in house. And I know not every, I have a crew that when I need something put out there, then I have people that, as I tell Jenny, I need you to make it pretty. I'll give you the content. You make her pretty. And we work well together. Um, you just got to have somebody in your corner that can see things that are greater than you can see in your own self. You know, and at first I was like, um, Natasha, holy hell, that's a long time. We're talking all every day until February, like the middle of February. But then I was like, why not? You know, I've already gotten these seven days underneath my belt. And I mean, it has literally flown by. And February's coming, whether I do a video or not. And wonder if I do these videos and things really flip and change by January. That's my intention. When I started doing these, my intention is to get in front of the right people, to get in front of new people and encourage the people who already know me. So, you know, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be, you know, like I said, I'm going to bring in some guests. And so it's not just me, but most of the time, it's going to be me and the red button. Uh, and if you don't know what that red button is, it's because you haven't done a video. And when you push um, Facebook Live, it is a big red button the size of your thumbprint um, that gets you started and gets you going. So, you know, by implementing Facebook Lives into your content strategy, you provide it's instant. It's not later. It is right now, instant, real time source of content. Now, when you get started, you may not have any more than one or two people that see them. But the more you do them, the more Facebook's going to see that you are consistent and they're going to start putting more eyeballs on your things that you put out there. Content marketing is your power button if you're working online. Now, you know, I encourage everybody to work on and offline because everything um, can't be can't be online. It's just not possible to do 100%. I'm not going to say it's not possible. I'm going to say you still need to meet people. If you go to events, people are going to meet you. And um, as Nicola Jackson said this morning on GoPro, she said PBR, that's public business relation, where you're building the connection with people. And we're not talking building that best friend connection, even though that is a great plus. And I've got some amazing friends that are with me because of business, but just building that connection so that when you see people, you have friends literally all around the globe. And it's just, you can do this with video, but you can also do it with your PBR. You know, video is very, very cost effective. It's a, a strategy that you don't need no monies whatsoever to implement a Facebook Live into your strategy. Um, you provide an instant real-time source of content. And as you do them more, you're, it's building your brand of who you are. That is your brand. You are your brand. And you know while you're still trying to figure out who it is maybe that you're wanting to be in front of the most, what, you know, what does your avatar look like? then you know, Facebook Live gives you time to kind of develop that. And you don't have to come out with you know, written notes and content that is just better than CBS News. Oh gosh, anything be better than CBS News if we're honest with ourselves. But you don't have to be a pro. And you don't have to be a professional with um, 
you know, the big cameras and the pretty backgrounds. However, I do highly suggest no dirty socks and unmade beds and, you know, underwear hanging on the, on the lampshades. You need to clean up your background um, or pull your camera in close to your face so they can't see the background. That probably took me longer to do than uh, pushing the red button. It was actually putting that camera up close to me. I'm like, good grief. They can see my nose hairs. I don't want that thing that close to me. And now I really don't care. It's all good. So just think of the number one thing you got to do is think of a catchy title before you hit that red button because your titles honestly is what's going to stop the scroll. You may be absolutely phenomenal. You may be an absolute hilarious human being to listen to watch on, on video. But having that catchy title, that is what's going to stop the scroll and make people go, hmm, wonder what that is, wonder what she's talking about. And on your, on your um, Facebook Lives, you can go to the edit. After you've done your video and you post it, you can go back to your video and there's an edit button in the top right-hand corner where you can edit that crazy picture uh, thumbnail that Facebook is going to put up there, you know, with your eyes rolled back in your head and you're looking half crazy. You can change that. And, you know, it's easy to do. It'll just pull up the edit and it walks you down. I think there's like maybe six things down the right hand side where you can change and add text to your video. Facebook now does that for free. Used to, we had to pay for it. Now you can do it. It does it automatically. Just set it up so that people who are maybe at work and they're looking at their phone, you don't want your video, uh, they can't have their you know, volume up so they can read what you're saying. That is a very powerful thing for me because I don't always turn the volume on so that I can listen to a video, but I will read along with it. So make sure you get that set up. You know, most people starting out building, building their brand are always looking for ways to get their message out to the marketplace. And you know, when you get started, you just don't have a big budget. Some people may, but your average person don't. Um, a friend of mine, Michelle, now she is a single mom of two, has started her network marketing business, and she does a Facebook Live every single day because that's what she can afford to do. And she has built, um, I think it's like four grand a month that she's now pulling in. It could be more, four to six, something like that. Um, but you know, that's more money she's ever had in her entire life. And she's bought a car and she has her own apartment and her kids have their own bedrooms. So you don't know what Facebook Live is going to do for you. And I had somebody else ask me, <clears throat> what do you do? How do you get over your fear? You push the button. Hashtag push the button. Um, and do just one minute. Do, do a three minute. And next time do a five minute. Trust me, you will get used to it and you won't even think about it. You'll just flip it open and hit it and you're on, and you're on, you're live. So how do you get over the fear? You just do it. Um, it gets better. But you'll, you know when people are getting started, we all know you're nervous and we love you anyway because we've all been there. We've all been that nervous. I thought I was going to die the first time. I swear my chest was thumping out of my chest and I'm like, why am I so nervous? And then people are going to hear you and they're going to love it because now they get to meet you. Uh, yesterday or day before, I can't really remember which day it was. I was sitting on the back deck because all my family was in the house and I'm like, let me go sit out here, do a real quick video. And all of a sudden, as soon as I hit the red button, my big old 120 pound dog, Mr. Duke, came and laid his head on my shoulder. And he was in my video and we just rolled with it. So I introduced everybody to Duke. He got a little embarrassed, but um, everybody now knows Mr. Duke. And then he was given his, his sweet personality and they got to meet him, which was really fun. So he stole my show and sat there beside me the entire video, just as quiet and polite as you please. And at the very end, he just kind of lays his head over on me. I mean, you just go with it. That's the thing about live is you don't get to edit. You don't get to, um, it's not about being perfect. You know, in the real world, we don't, we don't edit our words. We stumble over our words when we meet somebody and we don't worry about it then. So why do we worry about it when we hit the big red button? 
um, I just encourage you to get out of your own way and just simply push it and just see what you connect with in your audience, your direct audience. Um, let people get to know you so they can see your facial expressions that I talk with my hands a whole lot. They get to hear my Kentucky voice and they get to know all of the, the ins and outs of how my facial expressions work. And you don't need all that fancy production stuff in the background. Maybe someday you'll get there and you'll, you'll need that, but you don't have to um, show up in your sweats and flip flops and, and talk about whatever it is that you want to share with the world. You know, I'm not saying video production isn't good. I'm just saying you don't need it for everything. So if you need something written down, you know, like some post-it notes, don't be embarrassed to hold your notes or just, you know, put them up somewhere that you can kind of glance over and see what topic to keep you on a topic because we all ramble if we don't have a focus. So the best part is, you know, short, sweet, to the point, do maybe three steps, five steps at the most. Um, remember, you got to you gotta learn your audience to see what keeps, keeps and captures their attention. So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, come follow me on Angela Brooks Biz, B-I-Z, on Facebook. Um, I'm going to be doing these, like I said, to the middle of February, and I have intentions of not stopping in February, but continuing so that I can build my brand as large, as bigger than even my thoughts of what I can do. Um, the only way I can do that is to stay out of my own way and let my, my goal move forward because um, we all hold ourselves back. And I hope that I'm gonna encourage at least one person, I think maybe a hundred people, to get out of their way and do this. You can do a business. You don't have to have lots of money to get started and to get out there. And you don't have to have a list, list of topics. If you will listen, people are telling you and asking you questions and you can make a topic out of almost anything. Of course, I talk about that over in my master class. Um, that is something that uh, I taught, uh, I think it was maybe, I don't know, two or three months ago. And, you know, that's AngelaBrook.com Freedom Academy Masterclass. That was something that um, I taught all of the ins and outs. Actually, uh, I can't remember what link it is. AngelaBrook.com gift, I believe. Um, AngelaBrook.com forward slash gift. Um, and that will get you more information about the master class. If you're on Instagram, come follow me. I am now on Instagram IGTV. Um, if you'd have told me this last year that I was going to be on IGT, IGTV, I'd have said, ha, but I'm there. So y'all come and hang out, uh, introduce yourself. Let me get to meet you as well. Um, drop on over to the blog, AngelaBrook.com. And you can read the blog post that I wrote, 100 videos in 100 days. And I will see you on the next podcast. Uh, leave a comment, like it, share it, and I will see you then. Bye.